what's up everybody it is your favorite gamer girl angelic barbie and i'm back here today guys this video is basically going to be going over queendom universe mode i want to know honestly guys are you guys enjoying queendom if you are please hashtag yes you want more or if you're not enjoying it and you want me to cancel queendom and cancel the series let me know because i want to make sure that i am satisfying my subscribers i want to make sure that you guys are truly enjoying queendom i work so hard on queendom guys you guys don't understand voice acting for like 10 queens are so hard. I mean, I have voice voice acted for Crossfire, voice acted for War Goddess, voice acted for Evil Queen Barbie. And let me tell you something, the most hardest voice for me to do, the most hardest voice for me to do is War Goddess Queen Barbie, and of course is the Queen of Evil. Her voice is so hard hard to do because I literally have to put so much emotion in her voice. I have to make her sound sinister. I have to make her sound evil. I have to make her sound convincing. So Evil Queen Barbie is one of the most hardest voices for me to do, but I get so much good feedback. People love her voice and I'm just like, why? No, I don't want to do her voice, but I am the queen of evil and I would love you guys to continue to keep watching Queendoms so you can see me slaughter all those pathetic queens. I'm always going to be undefeated. I'm never going to let my precious queens belt go for I am the queen of evil and no one can stand up to the power of evil. Evil Queen Barbie is the biggest hill in Queendom. I mean, she's the queen of evil. She is the sister of Neo Queen Barbie. So, I mean, Evil Queen Barbie, you're going to be seeing her throughout this entire fucking story. Neo Queen Barbie, you're going to be seeing her throughout the entire story. I mean, the story is basically about Neo Queen Barbie and her sister, Evil Queen Barbie. It's not just a story mode it is universe mode too so according to universe mode whatever happens in a particular match that means i have to go and change the story up you guys i mean literally my throat hurts literally from doing evil queen barbie's voice i mean her voice just rips the soul out of my fucking throat you guys i mean try you guys try voice acting for like 19 queens i don't even have a voice for every single queen i only have a voice for war goddess Evil Queen Barbie, Crossfire, Majestic, Vampire Queen, and Demon Queen. That's only six queens out of 19 queens that I can voice. I still have to come up with other voices for other queens. But I just want to make sure that you guys are enjoying Queendom. Like, let me know. Do you guys want me to continue the story? The last episode that we ended on was episode 8. So I'm working currently on episode 9. I'm, I'm trying to see what kind of direction I can take this story into. But I want to make sure that you guys are truly enjoying it. I don't want to be, you know, just forcing this Queendom down your throat. You know you know what I'm saying? I really want to make sure that you guys are enjoying it and that you, that you guys are watching watching it and if like i said if you want me to continue queendom please hashtag yes more queendom or no cancel queendom let me know because it's up to you guys for me to keep this series you know what i'm saying but again the voice acting is the best the most funnest part about this queendom universe mode is the voice acting i really honestly love voice acting war goddess and i and i really love voice acting the queen of evil i mean so let me explain, you know, the Queendom universe mode and Queendom and the Queens all look together so you guys can understand. So if you guys watched the first Queens of the Ring, Evil Queen Barbie won the first Queens of the Ring. So I thought to myself, you know, she did really good in Queens of the Ring 1. So let me make a belt for her and, and put a belt around her. Because, I mean, I felt like Evil Queen Barbie really proved everybody wrong. Everybody thought Crossfire was going to win. And Crossfire lost to Evil Queen Barbie. So I was like, wow, Evil Queen Barbie was like the underdog. A lot of people didn't really vote for her. It was probably maybe like 20, 25 people that voted for Evil Queen Barbie to win. And everybody and their mama thought that Crossfire was going to win. But the tables was turned, you guys. The table was turned evil queen barbie proved a lot of people wrong so after queens of the ring won i decided to put a belt around her and i 
If I make a Queens of the Ring 2, whoever wins Queens of the Ring 2 will get an opportunity to face Evil Queen Barbie for the Queens Championship. So unfortunately, when Queens of the Ring 2 came out, War Goddess Queen Barbie defeated Sub-Zero. And I was so mad about that because I wanted my Sub-Zero to win. God damn it. But you know, War Goddess Queen Barbie ended up winning Queens of the Ring 2. So I was like, oh my God, War Goddess and Evil Queen Barbie are the most ruthless queens of all of the queens like they're the most ruthless queens but the only difference between war goddess is let me explain this war goddess is not evil she's just prideful she's all about being a warrior she's very cocky she's a god so war goddess is not evil but she's not really the nicest person i mean think about this compare if you watch dragon ball z or dragon ball super War Goddess Queen Barbie is basically a female Vegeta. That's exactly what she is. War Goddess Queen Barbie is basically a female Vegeta. She Vegeta is is cocky. Vegeta loves to train. Vegeta like cares about his Saiyan pride. So that's pretty much what War Goddess is. She's not evil at all, but she's all about her pride and being prideful and, and being a warrior and just, you know, loving to compete and stuff like that. So that's what branches her off being different from Evil Queen Barbie. Now, Evil Queen Barbie is pure evil. She doesn't give a damn about nobody. She fights evil. She fights dirty. She's just, you know, she's all about being evil and she just, she feeds off of the power of evil. She feeds off of that. That's her power. So that's what makes Evil Queen Barbie and War Goddess completely different. But to answer your question, War Goddess is not evil originally i was gonna do crossfire versus evil queen because everybody wanted me to do a revenge match they were like crossfire deserves to get her rematch against evil queen it's not fair that evil queen barbie won so originally i was gonna do evil queen barbie versus crossfire and it was gonna be called a, a revenge match you know what i'm saying so in universe mode i actually have evil queen barbie and crossfire set up as rivals but i never really got a chance to get around to crossfire getting a revenge match because i was working on a neo queen barbie 2 contest and i was working on queens of the ring 2 so i never really actually got a chance to get around to crossfire having a revenge match so when i originally started queendom i totally forgot that crossfire and evil queen were rivals so I was like, how about this? How about I start the story off with War Goddess preparing to fight the Queen of Evil and Evil Queen laughing on her throne, mocking, you know, all the queens, saying that she's undefeated, nobody can grab her belt, blah, blah, blah. So when War Goddess and Evil Queen Barbie match actually happened, I did not, and let me repeat this, I did not know that Crossfire was going to interfere in that match. And ever since Crossfire interfered in that match, I had to change the universe mode story up completely. I had to change it up and I had to involve Crossfire now because I didn't know she was going to interfere. Now, Crossfire is low-key, honestly, kind of jealous at the opportunity of War Goddess getting to fight evil queen barbie so i kind of actually put war goddess and and crossfire as kind of like rivals too because you know crossfire is like a hothead crossfire holds a serious grudge i mean she's a hothead aka the queen of fire aka crossfire she's a hothead get it <laughs> but no for real I did not know that Crossfire was going to come out and interfere in that match. So even though Evil Queen Barbie did pin War Goddess, you guys can't count that shit. I don't give a damn what you say. That was a disqualification. Of course, Evil Queen Barbie retained her belt because, I mean, nobody really won. She didn't get beat for the belt and War Goddess didn't pin her. So, you know, so of course she's going to retain her belt and War Goddess is still kind of like you know i'm gonna say war goddess is still undefeated because she really honest you can't call that a, you can't call that a fair and square pin because war goddess was looking at crossfire like what are you doing here this match doesn't concern you like go back and 
Evil Queen Barbie took the opportunity to pin War Goddess when she wasn't paying attention. So you gotta call that, a, that's a disqualification. That, that shit don't fucking count. Crossfire came out and ruined the dream match. So when that happened, guys, I had to change up the, the story entirely. I, ha I had to get Crossfire involved in a three-way rivalry. So the thing is, Crossfire doesn't like Evil Queen because she beat her in Queens of the Ring 1 and she's still holding a hateful grudge against Evil Queen. Anyway, guys, that's just kind of explaining a little bit of what happened. So I had to involve Crossfire in a three-way rivalry, and I still have a lot more going up. But if you guys want me to continue doing Queendom, if you guys want me to continue doing the story, please let me know. Hashtag please more Queendom or no cancel Queendom. But let me also explain this too. Evil Queen Barbie gets so much love and then she gets so much hate. I mean, people get so mad at how I portray her in the story. I mean, she's the queen of evil. She's gonna be scary. She's gonna be intimidating. She's gonna be a bully. She's gonna be aggressive. I mean, that's her play style. Like, when you go into universe mode, you can actually change the personality of the character. You can make them aggressive or you can make them disrespectful or you can make them bold. I mean, guys, that's what universe mode is all about is having your own personality. But let me tell you this. When I put the belt on Evil Queen Barbie, when I originally put the belt on Evil Queen Barbie, she fights aggressive. She fights more aggressive. She fights more defensively. She fights more bold. She fights more evil. She fights more crazy. Like when I originally downloaded Evil Queen Barbie, I wanted to match her movesets with her personality. She's the queen of evil. So I gave her like the most dirtiest, fucking moveset I mean you guys don't understand like evil queen Barbie has the dirtiest moveset probably in the game like you you guys don't understand anyway if you guys want to know what's gonna happen with crossfire and war goddess you guys gotta stay tuned if you guys haven't seen any of the episodes of queendom there is gonna be a playlist down below I'm gonna leave the playlist for you guys to catch up I'm trying to give everybody the opportunity to catch up um but that's pretty much all I wanted to talk to you guys today in regards to this video just if you guys want me to continue doing queendom or if you guys want me to cancel the series i want to know this is up to you guys for you guys to decide what you want me to do it's your favorite gamer girl angelic barbie and the queen of evil